Today we're looking at some 1991 Jefferson Nichols uh, mint errors on these coins that you can look for in your coin collection or maybe uh, coins that you inherited from a family member. Things that can give these coins some value. That's what we're going to look at. So welcome back to Caps Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and currency videos here on the channel. We're uploading every single day showing you guys uh, rare coins to look for from the bank or in your coin collection or even in pocket change. We're showing you guys paper money to look for. You can go to the bank, get stacks of $1 bills, look for rare dollar bills. Same thing with pennies, nickels, quarters, dimes, half dollars. You can search for these things that will give your coins some value. So as always, let's just hop right into it. All right, starting off first with a 1991 D mint mark that sold for over $200. So this coin sold for that price because of its condition. The coin is graded by NGC at a mint state 67. Now the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. 70 is a perfect condition coin. This is at a 67. It also has five full steps, which is pretty common for more modern coins. You know, there's some other older dates that you can look for five full steps on that are more rare, but it's pretty common for a modern coin to have five full steps. But this coin did sell for that price all because of its grade. So uh, there's probably not many out there at a mint state 67 with five full steps. Uh, here's an example of five full steps. Uh, you cannot have any, uh, you know, interruptions or nicks or dings or anything. It has to be complete five full steps. All right, now here is the 1991 Jefferson Nickel, the D mint mark that has a die adjustment strike. That's why you'll see uh, it faded out there. And this coin sold for around 30 bucks, so not really worth having this one graded. It'll probably cost you more to have it graded than you could sell it for. Uh, but you know, if you want to have your coin, your mint error coins graded for your coin collection, you know, I'm always uh, supportive of that. Now here's a coin that sold for over $700. This is where the 1991 Jefferson Nickel design was struck onto a one cent coin, so a Lincoln cent. Uh, so the Lincoln cent was already produced, uh, the design was already there, and then you have a Jefferson Nickel design that was struck onto it. Uh, that is pretty awesome, $700 for that coin. Here's the same type of error. This one is graded at a mint state 62 as opposed to a mint state 66. And this coin ended up selling for around $430. So again, the grade will have an impact on the value as well. So we go from you know $720 for this coin to $430 for this coin, and they are four grades apart. Uh, and one is red and one is considered red brown. So uh, that will affect the value as well. Now here's a 1991 Jefferson Nickel that was overstruck onto a 1990 Roosevelt dime. That is very interesting. So this coin ended up selling for over $4,000, $4,600 to be exact, graded by NGC at a Met State 64. That's just amazing. You can see both the Jefferson Nickel and the Roosevelt dime design here on the obverse and reverse of this coin. Almost a $5,000 coin there, can't beat that. Now here is a 1991 P mint mark, Jefferson Nickel, that is only valuable because it's graded at a mint state 66. Uh, you know, so keep that in mind. Uh, you know, the grade is very, very important. Just because you have a nice looking nickel doesn't mean that it's gonna grade at a mint state 66 or 67 or even, uh, you know, on up, 68, 69 or even 70, a perfect grade. Uh, but in this case, this coin did grade at a mint state 66 and this nickel sold for $180. Now here is a perfect graded coin. This is the 1991S Proof Jefferson Nickel. So this is what you will see in your proof sets. Uh, they grade at a perfect grade, a 70 deep cameo. And this coin sold for $145. Now here are some other Jefferson Nickels that are worth money. The coin has been double struck, which we see the design of the Jefferson Nickel there, double struck and rotated. It also has a die adjustment strike uh, as well. So we got a lot going on with this coin here. And this coin is graded by PCGS at a proof 63. Uh, really awesome coin, uh, super rare to have a proof coin uh, double struck and have that die adjustment strike and all that. So this coin did sell for over $2,000. 
Now here's an example of the 1968S Metmark proof coin as well. This coin has been double struck and it also has a broad strike taking place as well. So the coin has been broad struck, which we can see there around the rim of the coin. Very noticeable, the coin is graded by NGC at a proof 64. And that's why this nickel sold for over $1,800 nearly another $2,000 nickel. Moving on to a 1968 S Mint Markdown. Now this coin here is not super valuable or anything. It does have that mint error, that curved clip there at the top of the coin. And this coin here is only sold for 17 bucks. So, you know, not really worth having graded, uh, but you know, it's a cool coin if you come across clip errors to add to your coin collection. Now here is a 1968 D Mint Mark. Now, like I said, they made a lot of these coins. So what in the world is going to make this coin valuable? The grade, the condition of the coin. The coin is graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. So if you got this coin in a 67 or higher, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70, then it can be valuable. This coin sold for over $1,000 at the time in which it was sold. Now it could sell for different prices, could sell for less or more depending on uh, you know the grade population maybe uh, more coins come in at a 67 and it's gonna devalue uh, this coin at a 67 so it might not sell for a thousand dollars again it all just depends on the grade population how many of these coins exist at this grade or higher so as we move on here here is a 1968 s mint mark now this is the business strike s mint mark so uh, the regular typical you know coins that you'll find in your everyday pocket change are going to be the business strikes uh, the coin has been double struck, which we can see here on the left side of the coin. Uh, very noticeable, of course, errors like this. You do not need a coin microscope or anything like that to inspect a coin uh, for uh, any type of error. It's just a very noticeable type of error. This coin sold for around $50. So let's move on to the next coin. It is the 1968S that was actually struck onto a one cent coin. So a double denomination error taking place here. We can actually see the 1968 date from the penny uh, up here on Jefferson's head, which is really cool. And then we'll see the rest of the Lincoln cent design there as well. You'll actually see the word Liberty there going through Jefferson's shoulder as well. And then here on the reverse of the coin, you'll see the memorial building there going through uh, the reverse of the Jefferson nickel. So you'll see both the Jefferson nickel design and the Lincoln cent design as it is a double denomination error. These are gonna be super, super rare. This coin sold for over $1,000. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.